Turn on the light, as the Apostle Paul calls us in Ephesians 5. It says in Hebrews 13, 18, pray for us. The author of Hebrews say to the reci recipients of the letter, pray for us. And then there's two, two reasons he says, and I want to concentrate only on the last one in this video. He says, pray for us so we can have a clear conscience. I'm not going to go into that right now. Um... But that we can, the second part is important for this video. So that we can pray for us so that we have a clear conscience and that we can live honorably. I want to ask you, as a Christian listening to this, do you live honorably? I'm not saying do you live softly and weakly. This pretentious, false Christianity of always being soft and kind and gentle and sweet to everybody. That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking do you live honorably? Do you live according to God's righteousness in your life and your deeds and your words and your actions? For a true Christian that puts Jesus and the kingdom first, living righteously according to God's righteously, hence an honorable life, is crucial. Do some introspection into your life. Just do introspection of what happened today in your life and how you acted and measure it against the measuring rod of righteousness and honorable on on being honorable or honorable actions keep your eyes fixed on heaven